minimalism. And becoming a minimalist is definitely a popular movement going on right now. And I see you guys love not only my videos, but a bunch of videos out there going into these ideas. So going into these tips and tricks, which I love because it just throws out as much value as you can. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Hey guys, how's it going and thanks for coming. I'm Nick and this is Real Life Money. If you like this type of topic with money savings and investing and all that good stuff, don't forget to subscribe. So in this video, we're going over 35, whichever way that is, minimalist tips and tricks. Now we talked about frugal living tips in previous videos. This one I kind of want to focus on like specific things instead of like generalized hey cook back on food or whatever we're going to be talking about individualized ideas and basically all money saving ideas so i'm going to leave the list in the description if you want to skim through them or you could stick around listen to me and watch my pretty face starting off with number one i got inspiration from the man dave ramsey he says eating beans and rice, rice and beans when you're trying to save as much as you can. So I'd say eat more carbs for a couple of reasons. One, they're much cheaper. Beans, rice, pasta, all relatively cheap when you cook it yourself and it fills you up quicker. The downside is not that healthy. Everyone is different, but we would then move on to number two, which is you can substitute foods for other ingredients. So this is great for minimalists because instead of having like a bunch of different products and ingredients, you can kind of narrow it down, substitute some things. You can make it healthier if you want. So for example, instead of like mashed potatoes, you could have mashed cauliflower. I like it, add some cheese, add cheese to anything if you want. Um, but you could also do maybe instead of, this blew my mind, use spaghetti squash instead of pasta healthier and it's it's a vegetable it's it's ridiculous it's like tastes the same number three we're going to be sticking with food for a little bit is decreasing portion sizes we don't need to eat as much as we think so one you could either just like cut some things in half and have some leftovers or just cut back on everything going back to the minimalist lifestyle and just eat less it's also healthier it's cheaper and just less clutter number four is decreasing the amount of shoes that you own so some people love shoes but i would say decrease it to one of each shoe type so for example sneakers you have one sneaker and not well one pair of sneaker and i'm not saying one have like a left shoe but you know don't have five pairs of sneakers have one pair of dress shoes and not 19 pairs of dress shoes. Kind of just consolidate to one thing. Number five, kind of keeping the same idea, is decreasing our amount of clothes. So one, obviously getting rid of your older clothes that are just old, ugly, and don't fit. Maybe they're ripped and all that stuff. Um, you could try to sell it on your own or you could donate it, whichever really works for you. But also, it's a minimalist idea because you can choose the right clothing so you can mi mix and match different outfits with the same clothes. For example, using jeans, you can match anything with jeans or black because that matches basically anything. So number six, it really depends how you look at it. But I know a lot of people like bulk shopping and that's great because you're able to like you save in bulk, right? However, just because we're humans and we're, we suck. Um, when you have a lot of things, you tend to not use them. So actually more goes to waste. So kind of to counteract that way to actually buy less things at the same time. So you finish everything up and then when you're finished, then you go and buy more. The bad side to that is you might be making more trips and everything, but that can cut back on your waste and also, since you have less, that's just less clutter as well. Number seven tips and tricks is hitting this video with a thumbs up or not. The real number seven is home decor or home decorations or just like things around the house. 
you could simply cut that back slightly, mostly or completely, uh, especially with like Halloween's coming up, the holidays are coming up. People like just like dressing up their houses. For me personally, I don't care for it. So if you cut back on that, obviously you're gonna have less clutter. It'll save you more money and it'll just be cleaner. Now I understand some people do like that stuff. So if you still want to save money while dressing your house up, you can do homemade like DIY type of projects. Maybe just take some stuff from your backyard, like have a nature theme and make it yourself. Number eight is having accessories with clothes. And this could be like for anything besides like normal clothes of shirt, shoes, pants. So we, we could be talking about watches. Bad example, cause I like watches, but <laughs> keeping it minimalist, of course, you know, kind of going back to the shoe idea, have maybe one watch, maybe have one pair of earrings, maybe have one, whatever other, like belt all clothing accessories because they're usually not like a huge deal and you could usually live without them. Makes your house cleaner and you could save money there. Number nine is accessories. Basically anywhere, could be throughout your life, could be out throughout your home, just little things because they usually add up, not only in price, but just physically. You know, they could be simple. It could be like a charging cable or something like that. You don't need five of them. Limit what you buy, even especially when they're small, actually. Um, so watch out for that. Number 10, I know people are still gonna like this. It depends who you are, but I'm gonna be talking about plants and gardening. Again, just cause Halloween's kind of coming up, we're getting pumpkins, we're getting like plants or certain flower. I don't know, I'm not into that. Um, but you know, again, people kind of dress up the house and, but this is more like outside, like gardening type of stuff. You can cut back on that. Uh, if you don't, you know, if you do like that, you have a passion for it. You could even grow your own things, which is most likely cheaper. You could buy seeds, but when you do limit that, you do have a more minimalistic lifestyle, or you could just have like one plant and just, there you go. Take care of that one plant. So if you guys are still with me, I greatly appreciate it because this is a little bit longer list. I know people love longer lists though because there's a bunch in there. So number 11, it's going to be a little touchy. People don't like this, but I'm going to bring it up because we're talking about minimalism here, right? So especially with the holidays coming along, instead of, you know, giving gifts, you really got to be close with someone to actually explain to them what you're thinking, communicate to them. However, this is not being materialistic. So instead of getting like a bunch of gifts for other people or having a bunch of gifts for you, if you communicate, that's why you have to be close. You know, if you can't be like that one uncle you might see like once every five years, Hey, I'm not going to get you anything cause I'm a minimalist. They probably won't like you. Whether they like you or not already, that's really, you know, that's up to you. But again, this is maybe for a friend instead of like trying to struggle to get gifts for people, you could get one really meaningful gift or really focus on experiences, which I think a lot of people focus on these days. Number 12, I think is great for multiple reasons, but is to use reusable things. So it could be bags, it could be bottles. One, obviously it's less clutter. So instead of having like a 24 pack of water bottles, you have like one, whatever, thermos, and you just keep refilling that, right? Or instead of having a bunch of grocery bags, whether you use that for your garbage bags, I know a lot of people do that. But if you have like just a reusable shopping bag and you just keep reusing that, decreases the clutter and you could also save money there as well. Next one, you'd be surprised how much money you might be able to save or just completely cut out of your lives. But this would be calling cable, internet, insurance, basically all the people that you don't want to deal with most of the time. So one, you could just cut back your cable, cut back your internet, um, you know, kind of reevaluate what you have, especially with insurance. If you had an insurance for quite a while, 
they could probably help you out just because you're a good customer. You've been with them. They might be able to get you a good deal. You could even look at other providers. Could be also cell phone providers. So you really kind of see first what you have and next how you can negotiate what you could get next or just completely cut it out if you really want to go down that road. Number 14, we're going to be picking up the phone again, is calling credit card companies to start negotiating some things. So this is if you have credit card debt. We're going to be consolidating or at least trying to consolidate, trying to renegotiate your interest rate. Chances are you could probably renegotiate your interest rate. You could try to set up other cards possibly to do transfers. So, you know, if you have a bunch of debt, you could do a transfer card. It gives you 0% interest for, depending on the card, it could be like a year. Make sure you utilize that year though. During that time, you're not paying any interest, so make sure you double down and pay that off. If you end up doing nothing at all, it's just a waste. So consolidate, transfer, or Dave Ramsey approach, straight up cut your cards and never use them again. Number 15 is going over the best organizer that we could possibly have, the garbage can. So this could be with food. You would you could throw out old food, expired food, food you don't like. You know, try not to be wasteful, but you know, if it's garbage, throw it out in the garbage. You could also do this in your room. Stuff you don't even know what it is anymore, it's old, you could throw out. If you haven't used it in like the past few months, definitely more than a year, you probably don't need it and you could throw it out. Number 16 is something I thought of, which was pretty interesting. I never really heard anyone talk about this, is going off the idea of like having one thing per person. So like one pair of shoes, one pair of pants or whatever. But right now we're talking about eating. So having one pair of silverware one plate, one cup, one, you know, everything like that per person. Because technically, you know, one person doesn't need five plates. I mean, maybe have like a smaller plate for a side. You know, use something, you understand what I'm trying to say, definitely trying to consolidate. You don't need 12 mugs, five cups, you know, all these different things if it's just like you and your partner living there. Now, if you have guests, that might be something else. Tell them to bring their own damn plates, but <laughs> you know, it really depends on how you live. Now, number 17, I think is very important. It's relatively simple, but I feel like a lot of people don't do it, is use up one thing before starting or buying something else. Real straightforward, but I think we should use this for multiple reasons. One, you have a lot less waste, and you could think of it as food. You know, don't use a new pack of food, like use new bread, finish off the old bread or something like that. Same thing with maybe toiletries or toothpaste or, you know, anything like that. Finish it up and then start something else. Number 18, because I know a lot of people just have a bunch of stuff all over the place and I feel like this takes up a good amount of stuff. Throw out all your receipts. <laughs> just because chances are you're not going to use them. It's like, oh, maybe I could write it off your new taxes. You're not going to remember that. You can't. Um, you know, if you have a business, then maybe. But most people, they just like throw their receipts like in their room in their car, basically anywhere. And it seems very messy, it seems very cluttered, when in actuality it's, it's just a bunch of receipts that could be thrown out and it doesn't matter. Number 19 could be a fairly big change, but you know, just a thought, everyone's different, is to change your lifestyle or your, I don't wanna say personality, maybe character, to some less, if that makes sense. So for example, you could maybe change up your outfit, like your style, your hair, your nails. So that could be not only cheaper, you might be able to consolidate your outfits. Like, hey, I don't wanna be, you know, some rich person all the time. You wanna be more conservative and just kinda narrow down who you wanna be. 
All right, we're back. Had to change out the battery. We're talking so much tips and tricks. So number 20 is what we're on, right? Yeah, number 20 is have a purpose to all the things that you buy. Because a lot of people, they just end up buying things for the heck of it. When you have a reason for buying something, like you need to buy gas for your car so it runs. There's a reason behind it. If you're just gonna buy like a lava lamp, whether you know what that is or not, um, <laughs> it's not necessary. Have what you buy and what you're involved in match the goals that you wanna have. Number 21 is a concept that I actually took with writing resumes and it's called white space. So when you're writing a resume, of course you got like statements and everything like that. And if it's just filled with words and sentences like completely, it seems cluttered. So when you have just the right amount of spaces, you know, you wanna have all that information there still, but you wanna have space there so it's legible. So you could see with your eyes and it doesn't strain you, you know, you need some space. And I feel like that should also be true with our lives, with our rooms, with our houses. Have some white space. Make sure, you know, have some space on your table. Have some space on the wall. You know, don't have every little bit cluttered up. You need some white space. Number 22, which be, would be focusing on quality over quantity. Obviously, because if you have a bunch of just garbage all over the place, it's not really worth it. You should really focus on the quality of things that you buy. Because one, they could last longer. Two, there's going to be less things with quality. And three, it's just there could be meaning behind it and again more aligned with what you want with your life and your goals number 23 which would be focusing on the little things and this could be focusing on let's say entertainment you know be content with what you have you don't have to go on to an extravagant you know trip to wherever you could be content with what you have already or even small things also communication that's free you could talk to people you learn from them it's interesting hopefully um but you know really be happy of what you have and what's around you and i feel like we could definitely be more of a minimalist and be happy because i feel like that's what the goal is if we do that focus on contentment number 24 is utilizing space because there's only a limited amount of space in our houses and in our rooms so let's say if you have like a table if you have drawers under it i know there are some like beds that have drawers or little cubby things underneath them normally you're probably not going to use anything under your bed so if you turn it into like a storage facility or instead of having just like a giant odd shaped, I don't know, lamp in the middle of the room, you know, utilize the space more so it's also looks better, but it's just more efficient of your storage. Now 25, I do want to focus on our desired outcome. And this is really focusing on our person, our lifestyle. Understand what you want. Look into the future, what are your goals? What do you want to achieve? And you kind of reverse engineer that, or always think of that at least. So think of things, what you're doing, what you're spending time on, is that thing or that activity going to get you where you want to go? So if you want to become a minimalist to save money, become financially independent, retire early, you know, think of what you're doing if you're going to be going out every weekend and spending a bunch of money that's not aligned with your end goal. Number 26 would be focusing on our cars. Now I'm not saying get rid of your car. I mean, if you were into that, get a bike or something like that, I say go for it, but most people won't. So I'd say definitely get rid of most, if not everything in your car. 
anything on the floors, anything in the trunks, anything in the little compartments and everything. Because chances are you probably don't need it. I mean, you could have a couple things. That's fine. But you're not going to be living in your car. So you, you probably don't need a lot of things in there. And it just looks cleaner. Number 27, I think, is a good mindset to have is to keep flat surfaces clean because as soon as they're not you know it becomes cluttered and then you just start piling stuff on top of stuff on top of stuff and it keeps growing and then you start moving because there's no more room on the table then you start putting stuff on the floor and it all starts from focusing on your space so really use and utilize storage to your advantage 28 i think is great i could put this a little bit early on but this is a great starting point for really anyone instead of trying to like organize your house start with one room start with maybe your room maybe start with the bathroom because it's smaller I actually did something with this room. This used to be cluttered, could barely walk in it. And then we fixed it up, we donated some stuff. So really focus on one area. You don't have to multitask. Chances are multitasking is actually not that good because you do a bad job on all the things you're focusing on. Focus on one thing. 29 I just wanted to throw in for some motivation if you don't know what to do where to start or it's like oh I'm not doing so well watch a hoarders video chances are it'll make you feel better about how your house is and it'll probably get you motivated to start not becoming a hoarder start throwing stuff out organizing a little more kind of a fun way to kick you in the butt a little bit and to really change who you are. Now number 30, I believe, is something that we all should probably do more of. We all might think of it, it never happens, is to really turn off social media, to give us more time. Time is a very valuable resource, guys, and you cannot get it back. So if we're just wasting it on social media, like Facebook, Instagram, don't forget YouTube. YouTube is great. You shouldn't turn off YouTube. You know what I'm saying. To a certain extent. Because if you're putting your time and energy into these things. And not focusing on your goals. And actually acting or performing. You're not going to get what you want. So really utilize all the time that you have. And social media is usually a pretty big time waster. We've got to clean that up. So number 31 would be... It's kind of interesting so once you start cleaning up you find out you f have things that you had no idea you had so it's almost like you're finding new things you're finding you're like going shopping in your own house so when you start decluttering you actually might be surprised what you have you might stock up on things that you needed so we're coming to the last handful of things tips and tricks for you guys uh, but the last ones really focus on mindset and really lifestyle and they're all very important so number 32 would be pre-plan your day and i'd say by the hour kind of going back to the idea of we waste a lot of time that's because we don't plan if you know now you know when you're beginning out be a little lenient but know what you're doing every hour so, you know, if you just wasted three hours on Netflix, you could see that. So like, hey, I'm gonna declutter for an hour today and then do this and then pre-plan my food and then, I don't know, exercise or something like that. When you plan things out, it's just more organized and you could actually get a lot more done. Number 33 is writing down physically writing down what you want in life the goals and the outcomes that you want we talked about this before but not the actual physical writing down and you could use old books that you're about to throw out keep them and use them as like journals or something like that write down your goals because it's just humans are weird once you write something down it's more like official to your brain 
that this is going to happen and again it's more organized that we could have in our lives so i'd suggest it number 34 is i'm gonna say kind of be selfish focusing on you because if you're not then you're just your head is just all over the place you're looking at everyone's different ideas and what they're doing and you're not focusing on you which is essentially leading into number 35 is com do not compare yourself to other people today you should only compare yourself to who you were yesterday and i think that's a great quote to live by when you're living for other people it's not what you want and when you look back and see your progress from yesterday last week last month last year it just motivates you to do more because you see how far you've come and i think that's great and also understanding doing one thing even one small thing in a day is still better than doing nothing so these are great minimalist tips and tricks if you're still looking to save money and try to budget and different like budget strategies i did have a previous video going into that i'll leave a link in the description so you could check it out because it could definitely save you money even faster so if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please leave them down below i'd love to hear what you guys have to say are you planning on becoming a minimalist and what are some of your favorite tips and tricks for that so thank you so much for watching guys really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one